what's up guys, Math is nice 7 and real quick before we get into this episode of Universe Mode, I just want to give you guys a quick channel update now. I mention it in a later on episode of WD13 Universe Mode, you'll have to stay tuned for that then, but I want to let you guys know that GM Mode and Rising Star to Stardom are currently going to be on hiatus. Um, I've got a plan where I'm going to upload throughout the entire month of October only Universe Mode, because there's a certain point that I want to get to in my universe mode before 2k14 comes out so I plan on uploading only universe mode in October so uh, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below but in case you're wondering where rising star to stardom and GM mode will be I'm just letting you guys know ahead of time they will be on hiatus I will not probably I probably won't upload them until mid-November or something I'm not sure because with 2k14 I'm gonna be playing 30 years of WrestleMania and then, of course, I'll start up my own universe mode then. But I just want to let you guys know that those series will be on hiatus. I also am trying to wrap up Light Platinum this month. So that way, I won't have to put that on hiatus for like two or three episodes or whatever I'll have left. So it'll just be universe mode and Pokemon in this month. And then next month, it will be all universe mode. Because I want to get to a certain point in that. And then I'll be able to pick it up from there. So anyway, uh, GM and... Rising Star to Stardom will be on hiatus. Just want to let you guys know. And uh, so what do you guys think of that idea in the future? Because I plan on doing that so I can get to where I need to be with Universe Mode. Um, I I don't know. Just let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. I know some people aren't going to like it. Uh, might lose a few subscribers. But I feel that this needs to be done. I feel this is what's best for the channel. Um, so if you disagree, let me know why in the comments below. And maybe I'll change my mind. I don't know. But anyway, just want to thank you guys for watching, and let's get into this episode.
welcome everybody back to the episode of WD13 Universe Mode, and we're gonna kick this off. One of our two, ma ma one of our two high-profile matchups of the night. But we're gonna start this one off first. Might not have been the greatest decision to put this matchup first, but we know Darren Cole. He's got a beef with Brian Cole, and we saw last week Brian Cole. The, it, what Brian Cole did last week was completely uncalled for. Darren Cole was there for an interview. With, just a fair interview, just asking some unbiased questions, and Brian Cole took a straight-up shot at Darren Cole. He took a shotgun and shot at his head, figuratively speaking. I mean, he just went he went straight in for the kill there, going right after Darren's career, just mocking the UCW veteran, and Darren Cole, he's now looking to fight back, but now a nice twist of fate off the chopper by Brian Cole. But this match is going to get vicious as these two compete in a false count anywhere no holds barred street fight where you pretty much have to knock your I mean you can still win by pinfall or submission but this is gonna get brutal you can use any weapon you can go anywhere in the arena that the game allows you to I should say but anyway you all know what that means but anyway nice side effect by Darren Cole and then we saw a capital punishment after Brian Cole defeated John Morrison Darren Cole came out to the or didn't come out to the ring, but he came out to the ramp, and he called out Brian Cole after the match, and those two got into a little scuffle there. EMT, not EMTs. Security was finally able to break it up. We even saw John Laurinaitis come out there, even though that wasn't exactly his business, but I guess it was his pay-per-view trying to maintain order there. And now Brian Cole going to the outside. Looks like this is the first weapon introduced into the match, and it's a kendo stick. Darren Cole wisely slides into the ring to avoid the kendo stick shot from Brian Cole. Now Brian Cole picks up the kendo stick and connects with a shot to the head of Darren Cole. And now he's picking up the kendo stick of trying to grab the guitar. And there's a shot to the back of the kendo stick. And now he's setting him up. He's choking him with it into a leg sweep. Very innovative, innovative, innovative way to use the kendo stick there. And now off the kick to the, the drop kick to the face there by Darren Cole. He counters and throws Brian Cole into the ring. There's a chop to the chest and a big boot there and yeah if you guys haven't noticed by now I do stutter occasionally in my commentary that's probably because I try to talk really fast at some points and that's when I tend to stutter or I just don't exactly know what I'm trying to say because I just wing it on these commentaries and I don't know it's worked so far so now the fan pulled down his bitch car that little Brian Cole he's just he's just laughing in the face of that fan that I don't, I don't know what kind of sick pleasure Brian Cole is going to get out of this match but as we see He's got a new attire, this little, like a street clothes attire. He didn't take off his jacket. He's still wearing that, the Archangel jacket, and off a drop kick. He's now got Darren Cole from behind, but no counter into a headlock, but now he's got him in the arm lock. Snap or takedown by Brian Cole. Elbow to the back of the head of Darren Cole. And this is actually the first time in this universe mode we've seen Darren Cole wrestle. Actually, it is not the first time. We have not seen Darren Cole wrestle since way back in the first episode, I think it was, when we crowned the number one contender for the international title, maybe? Um, no, it was, I don't know, it, was, it wasn't a number one contender's match, but he competed in a four-man battle royal against 17, Chris Savior, and Nightmare, I want to say. It was, I know I know it was 17 and Chris Saver, not too sure, but Nightmare, but he hooks the leg by Brian Cole and a kick out by Darren Cole. So Darren Cole probably has some ring rust here. But I mean, in a street fight, you don't... This isn't so much about wrestling ability, it's just about... This is just going to be a brutal, all-out fight here. This is just a straight-up fight, hence the term street fight. You don't have to... You don't even have to wrestle here. You just got to beat the crap out of your opponent until you can pin him or make him tap out and Darren Cole we see... With a title belt to the face, that little novelty World Heavyweight Championship belt. Brian Cole now has the belt in his hands, and he connects across the face of Darren Cole. And so far, Brian Cole has had the majority of the offense, now driving the knee of Darren Cole into the mat. And there's a kick to the gut. And now onto the top rope here, setting him up. There's a little go-around her Karana. He goes into the cover trying to win early. One count, and a kick out by Darren Cole. As Brian Cole, we know, still feeling from that matchup and capital punishment against John Morrison, so he might not want to take too much of a beating here trying to end this as quick as possible there with that Hurricanrana roll-up, but alas, that was unable to come to. That plan was unable to come to fruition, and now he just smashes Darren Cole's face off of the announce table, and there's an Enziguri sidekick to the head. 
and or kick to the side of the head, I meant to say. And now he's uncovering the announce table here. That actually hasn't been happening all that often. The announce table doesn't get broken as much as it used to. And now Brian Cole, there's the headbutt to Darren Cole as Darren was up against the barricade. Brian Cole, now he has Darren up, dazed on his feet, but Darren with a nice counter. And a counter once again by Brian Cole as he ducks behind. Darren, though, with a counter of his own into a headlock. The Irish puts Brian Cole into the corner there. And not the corner, the, the ring post. And he drives him head first into the ring post as Brian Cole's head just bounce off the steel. And now Darren Cole, he's going under the ring. What's he going to get? And it looks like Darren's got it. Oh, my God. Brian Cole dives to the outside. Broke the table on the way down that Darren was trying to grab. But Brian Cole... Just putting his body on the line, diving straight over the top rope to the outside. And now Brian Cole's been busted open off the Fez press there as Darren hooks the leg. One, and no, a kick out by Brian Cole. Darren here, he just wants to punish Brian Cole. Darren doesn't compete all that often, so he doesn't have to worry about fatigue. I mean, I guess since he hasn't been in the ring for a while, that could be as far as fatigue in the future, I mean to say. Because as far as in this match fatigue, Darren could probably run out of gas a little bit earlier than Brian Cole, seeing as Brian Cole has been active since the start of this universe mode, whereas Darren hasn't had all that much in-ring action in this universe mode. He's been more of the interviewer just watching on the sidelines. So Darren maybe trying to revitalize his career. I don't even think he's trying to revitalize his career. He's just here to get payback on Brian Cole for what he, for the disrespectful comments. You see, the blood is just full. God dang it, I can't speak. He's just pouring out of the face of Brian Cole. And now Darren Cole going back to the ring here. And he's looking to grab a weapon. Brian Cole back on his feet. And it looked like Darren had a chair, but Brian Cole stops that. As see, it looks like a fan's got a soda there trying to give somebody a drink. And Darren catapulted into the crowd. As Brian Cole now gets a chance to catch his breath here and just relax. As Darren Cole got maybe a little bit closer to the crowd than he wanted. I mean, I know he's always been close with the crowd and no that's not that funny oh my god Derek Cole out of nowhere the ghetto blaster the ghetto blaster connects and he drives Brian Cole into his face on the outside hook one and Brian Cole kicks out at a count of one into a hip toss neck breaker out of nowhere Brian Cole hooks the leg one two no Darren Cole kicks out at a count of that was like two and a half Darren Cole he should have been done there but now Brian Cole setting him up here what's he gonna do with that guitar Brian Cole sends Darren head first into the guitar there. I, I mean, I wish you could bring weapons to the arena like that for a no holds barred match or something like that. If that's if that's going to be on the card, that'd be sweet if you could bring something like that. Or even if WWE like placed them, or not WWE, but even if like anybody just placed them along the barricades and whoever's at ringside can like grab the weapons and hand them to the superstars. I guess that would be kind of a health hazard, but I mean that'd be kind of cool. That'd be really sweet. And now Brian Cole. Oh my god, he's got Darren up against the barricade. He's not going to do this. Brian Cole, spear through the barricade. He just split. He may have just split Darren Cole in half. Brian Cole now, he's majorly in control. He's had control. I, I don't know, but he's definitely managed to come back off that ghetto blaster to the floor. And off that hip toss neck breaker, he's just been in control ever since. And now Darren, Darren might be done. Brian Cole could easily pin him. I don't know why he's dragging him. He could just pin him, but wow. It, I... And Brian Cole, he, he still wants to do more. He wants to inflict more punishment to Darren. That spear through the barricade, the head pot, hip toss, neck breaker, all the weapon shots, it's not enough. What is it going to take for these superstars to want to finally end this match? How much punishment are they willing to inflict? And there's the downward spiral. And both these superstars have taken some sufficient damage to the head. Into the cover, hooks the leg, but a kick out by Brian Cole. As I've got a quick find my computer charger, it's like right on the floor next to me, or not next to me, but right on the floor. It's nearby, I gotta grab it. And now, there, you heard it from my computer, and the double leg drop to the groin by Brian Coles. This is a no-holds-barred match. There are no rules, so that could be considered a low blow. It's perfectly legal. I hope the audio doesn't lag, because I just plugged in the computer, but and the screen brightened, of course. But now he's got the Achilles tendon locked in, and now he's just trying to, he's trying to break the leg of Darren Cole, maybe try to... Tear the Achilles, maybe. I don't know. But, or tear some, I don't know. Dar Brian Cole, he's just worked the leg ever since early on in this match. And now, Darren into the cover. He's, but another kick out by Brian Cole, not even a one count. And I have to wonder, is Darren, could maybe be, Darren's fighting for his life at this point. Darren Cole, just trying to survive now. I mean, how much of a target is on that leg? How much damage 
has he sustained already at the hands of Brian, Brian Cole? Brian Cole trying to run away here. Brian Cole, he's going up to the stage. Uh, that's what. That's why I kind of stopped there because I'm not. I'm confused. What that? What is Brian Cole doing? Oh, he's just taunting at the fans now. And that's definitely going to get a reaction from Darren Cole. Darren, he's got a sledgehammer. Oh my God, Darren means business. He's bringing out the heavy artillery. He's got a sledgehammer. Brian Cole seems to be almost suckering Darren Cole, just goading him to come to the stage. What does Brian Cole have planned up here? And Brian Cole just taunting to Darren now. But Darren now finally reaches the stage with a sledgehammer shot to the gut of Brian Cole. And now he went for one to the back of the head, but that did not connect. And now a chop block to the back of the leg there of Darren Cole. And now another chop block, this time a front chop block from Brian Cole. And now once again, just work. Oh, God, this is going to hurt on the stage, on the metal stage. Just driving the knee into the mat or into the stage. But Darren Cole still trying to fight him off. What? A valiant effort has been shown here by these two superstars. And now Brian Cole is going to sweep out. Darren might just hit his back on the sledgehammer. And again, working the leg there on the steel on the steel stage. And now the Achilles tendon lock is once again locked in. Brian may be trying to force Darren to submit here. What kind of pain must that leg be? What kind of pain is Darren enduring right now with that leg? Is Darren, is he going to be able to get out of this submission hold? And yes, Darren Cole making it back to his feet here. Brian Cole now. Kick to the gut. He's got the sledgehammer now. But Darren Cole able to catch the sledgehammer. Whatever Brian Cole was going for, he was unable to get it done. And now there's a shot to the gut with a sledgehammer by Brian Cole. And Darren's in trouble here. Brian Cole, oh God, what what is he waiting for? Darren trying to stumble back to his feet here. Darren is out of it. Oh my God, right onto the sledgehammer, the hip toss neck breaker. Not only was it the steals to and again, a second hip toss neck breaker. This is becoming painful to watch now. Hooks the leg, one, two, three, and thank God this matchup is finally over. Brian Cole, a hip toss neck breaker onto the sledgehammer, onto the steel stage. Good God, what hell these two superstars have just gone through in this matchup. Brian Cole, yeah, he can celebrate. He, he wears the scars from this match on his face with that cut. But Darren, he's got to have several scars from this one. Who knows what, what all damage Darren sustained. Does he have a concussion? Possibly some neck injuries from that hip toss neck breaker under the sledgehammer. Of course, his leg that was targeted the entire match could be injured somehow. Darren ended up at ringside. I don't know how that happened. But now Brian Cole, definite bragging rights here. Proving that he can back up what he says. He can put his money where his mouth is. Defeating Darren Cole in a street fight. And just in case you're wondering why the World Heavyweight Champion Sheamus is here, well, Xander James apparently has a surprise opponent opponent for the World Champion here. So, I have to wonder who is who could it be? I mean, Sheamus. We know we've seen this in the past when it was, ended up being Slater versus Sheamus on Raw. I mean, who could Xander James possibly have in mind? What could he have in mind for the World Heavyweight Champion? Now, as we know, he was definitely involved in that attack last week. Well, what does he have in store for Sheamus now? You have got to be kidding me. The legendary Sledder returns once again for the first time in this universe mode. He will com be competing at a UCW arena. Come on, Sledder, you're smarter than this. Why? Why Why is he back here? We saw what Sheamus did to him. He in Slatter sustained a severe severe neck injury at the hands of Sheamus on Raw when he returned a few months, a few weeks ago, almost like a month ago. I honestly am not too sure about this here, folks. I don't I don't really think Slatter should be back here to face the World Heavyweight Champion again. I mean, we saw what Sheamus did to him last time these two faced off. And I, I, hey, you can't mock. You can't mock Sledder's Sheamus, courage. You can't mock... Sledder's got pride, if we've seen that throughout his history with WXW, with Veterans of the Ring, and with UCW. This this man's got pride, so you can't knock a guy for having... Hey, you can't knock a guy for his morals, I guess. Sledder, he, he will not give up in a fight, and he's back. It looks like he's back for vengeance here. That, that's got to be the only reason why 
Sledder is here. I mean, we saw what Sheamus did to him. Sledder had to be carried out on a stretcher, and now, and now he came back for more. I mean, I guess you gotta admire her, you gotta admire his courage for that. I mean, he got he suffered a neck injury, and neck or, no, oh my god, I can't speak. Neck injuries are, I mean, Sledder he's suffered severe injuries in the past, and I mean to come back from a neck injury to face. You can't knock you can't knock him for that. Slider, he he's just coming back for vengeance, whether that means a victory if he's just here to try and beat the tar out of Sh if he's just trying to beat the mayonnaise out of Seamus' skin, I don't know exactly what Slider's here for, but I'm sure whatever it is, it's it involves some sort of vengeance. Half, uh, never mind, I'm not even gonna go into a joke about that. But anyway, now as Slider, he has a headlock and now he's working the leg of Seamus off the leg sweep there. But yeah, there's a kick to the gut by Sledder, and now he's got Sledder, Sheamus, and uh, God, I'm gonna get these two confused during the match somehow. And again, another dragon leg sweep there by Sledder, and now off a kick to the gut, a double axe handle there by Sheamus. He almost uses that axe handle like a clothesline. And oh my God, already an Irish curse backbreaker to Sledder. And don't this is don't tell me he's not, this can't be it already. One, sit no, Sledder kicks out. You gotta admit, Sledder's got fight. He's got heart. He's got courage, and to come back, to take on the man who sidelined you, that is that definitely takes some guts. And Sledder, he's definitely been known for his stubbornness in the past, so you have to wonder what all will he be willing to go through to get payback on Sheamus, as now he's got like a head vice grip locked, and now he just slams him face first into the mat. As I guess Sheamus got a rope break there, so Sledder was forced to break the hold. And now another leg sweep to take down Sheamus. And the Celtic Warrior could be in trouble here. Sledder now going to the outside. And he's going after the announce table now as he's uncovering the announce table, which was never used by Brian Cole and Darren earlier on tonight. But it was uncovered. And now he's got a dragon suplex. Nice move. Very technical move there by Sledder. Not a move I would expect. The, ma the man, the founder, not the founder, but the founder of what became UCW. I mean... Sledder could almost say he created Sheamus. UCW, and I mean, he's done that in the past. Sledder, he created the company that became the company that broke Sheamus into UCW. The now, the whole situation behind that, he, him and a wrestler, well, he created WXW, which the then way. had some issues of its own. The, however, the group did not break up Hard entirely. Up it just moved over, a few people left, and it moved Sheamus into a new company in known as Veterans of the Ring. There was some oh economic God. issues with WXW, should I say. Uh -oh. The, like there was just the plenty of issues to be started. found there, both. Hey, shit. Oh my God, a, there's a bro kick out of nowhere. He may have just taken his head off. One, two, three, and Sledder is done here. As Sheamus gets a big victory, as I could not explain the heritage. And the World Heavyweight Champion, Sheamus, with a big victory here, celebrating with us. Oh my god, who is... That's Jam! That's the Savior Jam, he's attacking the World Heavyweight Champion, Sheamus. And anyway, with us! He just took the belt across the face of Sheamus. And Jam just throwing the belt back at Sheamus, but wh what the hell is Jam doing here? Sheamus gets a big victory, as I could not explain the heritage of the company. And I guess, well, I'm adding in a cutscene from this point, so you don't even hear this. Delray is attacking with a pipe, oh my god. <laughs> 